Snowball Shooter. I'm Sandy and today we're going to take some supplies generally found around the house and we are going to make a little shooter that will help you have extra fun when you have a snowstorm. You should have already picked up the take and make bag. They'll have everything you need except a pair of scissors in the bag and um, open your bag and let's get started. So looking in your take and make bag, you will have three things. You'll have a cup, you'll have some duct tape, and you'll have a balloon. And like I said previously, you will need a pair of scissors to complete this project. The first step is one that you might want an adult to help you do. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut out the bottom of the cup. And this is honestly the hardest part of this project. Um, some people like to poke like this. To me that's kind of dangerous and I'm not very graceful and I might cut myself. So what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to pinch the edge of the cup like that with my scissors and get a hole going. And it will take a second and you might have to do a little section at a time until you get a spot where you can get cutting. And if you can, and sometimes your scissors make a difference too, I'm getting there. All right, I think I got it. All right, so I've got a hole that I can get into to cut around the cup. And it's best if you leave a little bit of the edge uncut so that it'll give more support to your shooter. So just take your scissors, cut all the bottom, and it'll take a minute. And it's kind of tricky. And if, like me, your cup cracks, just take some duct tape and tape over that when you're done cutting the bottom out. And that's probably just part from the cutting too far down the side. And again, this is going to be the trickiest part of your project. All right, we've got the bottom out. And if you can see, you can see all the way through the cup. So I'm going to take a little piece of duct tape and take my crack. And that shouldn't hinder me from being able to shoot things with my cup. And I'll just take a piece of duct tape, tape right over that. And that should repair that. The next step we're going to take is taking our balloon and the step you might also have to ask an adult or an older sibling to help you with this if you're not very versed in tying a knot in a balloon, but basically you just want to close off this end of the balloon. So we'll just take the balloon and you're tying it off like you would if you had blown up the balloon, but we're not actually going to blow up this balloon. So we've got the knot in that end. And then we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut off the other end that we haven't tied of the balloon. See, we've still got the knot here. And we're going to cut this end of the balloon off. And what that's going to do is allow us to be able to stretch this part over the end of our cup. And the reason that we want this little tail on here is it'll give us something to pull 
and stretch the balloon out when we go to actually shoot things out of our snowball shooter. So you'll take your open end of your balloon and stretch it over your cup. And then cut a couple of long pieces or tear, whichever works best for you, of duct tape and just tape your balloon to your shooter. And you wanna make sure you've got it stretched. Not super tight, but stretch it across the end of the cup. Take one more piece of tape and get my balloon taped. And there we go. Our shooter is ready. So if you want to practice, you can just pull it away from the cup and shoot it. And we were hoping that we would have snow to be able to go outside and make a couple of snowballs and practice shooting with our cup. But we don't have any snow right now, so we're going to try some different things and just see how far we can shoot. So the first thing I have to practice with is just a piece of crumpled up paper. And you want to remember when you're doing this, don't aim for someone else's face. Um, don't shoot your pets. Just shoot things that aren't going to damage a person or your windows or that kind of thing. So put your item in there. Pull back on your balloon and see how far it goes. And just try different things and see if the weight of them, what they're made of, We'll shoot further. We'll try it again. Pull it back. And there you go. This time I've got a styrofoam ball. We'll put it in there. Pull it back. And there we go. And that is your snowball shooter. Thanks for joining us for Virtual STEM Club Snowball Shooter today. I hope you had fun with the project and I hope you get some snow so you can take it outside and give it a try. We'd love to see any, any pictures or video that you have of yourself doing the project and you can share them with us at the email address that's going across your screen. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.